Spain. Greece refused to send Patriot systems to Ukraine. The governments of Spain and Greece refused to send additional air defense systems to Ukraine. However, Spain will provide Ukraine with a batch of missiles for Patriots. Spain operates only three Patriot batteries, purchased in used condition from Germany between 2004 and 2014. One of them has been deployed near the Turkish city of Adana since 2013, where the other two are in Valencia. One of those is actually being used to train Ukrainian soldiers in operating the system, Spanish publication El País said. The newspaper's sources did not say how many missiles Spain intended to send, only that Madrid keeps a war reserve of about 50 and that they are very expensive, costing about a million euros apiece. Spain is also planning to refurbish 10 more Leopard 2A4 main battle tanks and send them to Ukraine in addition to the 10 delivered last year. So, Madrid will not send its Patriot systems to Ukraine. Instead, it is committed to supply only missiles that can be used for the available surface-to-air systems. The El País did not specify the size of the batch. At the same time, Greece also refused to undertake obligations to send such systems to Ukraine against the background of the tensions with Turkey, Reuters said. Greece is not going to send S-300 or Patriot to Ukraine, Prime Minister of Greece Kyriakos Mitsotakis said. In recent days, Greek media have reported that a swap deal is possible in which the United States would agree to replace either the Patriot system based in Athens or the inactive Soviet-era S-300 system stationed on the island of Crete so they could be sent to Ukraine. We were asked and we explained why we cannot do it. Mitsotakis said, adding that these systems are critical to our deterrent capability. Russia fires up to 70,000 artillery shells daily in Ukraine. Russian forces routinely fire five to six times as many artillery rounds per day as the Ukrainian military, a Ukrainian general staff official speaking anonymously told NV. Russian troops in Ukraine have ramped up their artillery usage to between 60,000 and 70,000 rounds fired each day, a sharp increase from the daily count of about 15,000 during the summer of 2023. The source attributed Russia's surge in artillery fire to shipments from Iran and North Korea as well as expanded domestic manufacturing. They explained that the escalation has been gradual, from approximately 10,000 to 15,000 shells per in the summer to about 20,000 in the fall, and since the start of 2024, it soared to 60,000 to 70,000. In contrast, Ukraine currently fires some 10,000 to 12,000 rounds daily, according to sources. Ukraine is still likely to be outgunned by Russian artillery for much of the rest of 2024, despite Congress nearing the passage of a $60 billion military aid bill for Kyiv, officials and analysts told foreign policy as both the United States and Europe ramp up production of NATO standard rounds and restock their own arsenals. The optimistic view of the conflict for Ukraine is that new assistance will buy it much needed time. 
It can hold the line this year and replenish units that were badly damaged in last year's disappointing counter-offensive, hopefully putting it in a better position to push back Russia's gains in 2025. By that time, Ukraine will have access to some new capabilities such as F-16 fighter jets and more importantly, the US and Europe will have ramped up their production of artillery ammunition, hopefully allowing the Ukrainians to narrow the Russians' ammo advantage. At present, Russia's military has been firing as much as five times as many artillery shells as the Ukrainians. One US commander recently warned that the advantage could soon be as high as 10 to 1. Farther from the front lines, Ukraine's much vaunted air defense systems, which once shot down around 90% of Russian missiles and drones, have become dramatically less effective, with disastrous consequences for Ukraine's cities and infrastructure.